Greetings, this is Dwayne, and I've been making a lot of flower hats lately. You've seen those, but I've gotten a lot of people asking me questions about the felt, uh, asking me questions about the variation in colors and how I've been doing that lately. If I'm buying a felt that has different colors to it or if I'm making it, well, I'm gonna show you actually how I've been making it lately and just been trying to do different things with it to give you some colors. And basically, this is one of the hats we've just recently designed and everything. And I'm trying to show, too, uh, the difference between trying to do some a light color and a dark color. So this is one of my darker ones, the blue ones here that I put a little bit of darkness into. But I'm really loving the light colors and working with the whites, working with the light beige, uh, maybe a light pink, and then adding the color and getting the tones into that. So that's what I want to show you today is just simply how I'm doing that. And we're just going to be working with some uh, acrylic paints. And I'm going to take one of my, this is just a light cream color. And I'm going to pick out a color. And what I'm doing is I'm putting down just a cookie tray, an old cookie tray, and some wax paper or parchment paper just to collect all the water underneath it. So I can also, so I can move it. I'm not in one place to help it, you know, let it dry. So once I've made my flower pattern, I'm actually just getting it wet. I'm not using Mod Podge or anything. I'm just using regular water. And I wring it out. So I have it nice and damp. Now I'm just going to take one of my cones and I'm going to place it over top of the cone. I use the styrofoam cones, but if you don't have a styrofoam cone, that's fine too. Uh, there's several things you can use around the house. Uh, most people know I'm a caffeine addicted person. So I'm going to take probably one of my caffeine bottles doesn't have to be Dr. Pepper, or Coke, Pepsi, whatever your poison is, and just put it right on that. Easy as that. Uh, if you're one of those people that are more into the healthy, using water bottles, uh, put it on top of a water bottle. Whatever you have, you know, you can use there. You don't have to use a styrofoam cone. I just happen to have a bunch of these that I ordered at one point in time. I use them sometimes for gnome bodies, but I also use them to help out for some of these tricks. So now I have it just wet. I'm going to start working on it. I'm going to leave it up this way. I know it's a little bit hard to look straight down at it, but I'll show you in a moment here. Because what I want to do is I want to use the gravity. I want to use, use that to help hold on. And I'm just going to get, I have a paper plate. I'm not, I'm not, don't use anything fancy. Uh, I'm just doing basic stuff here. And I'm going to pick out a color. I think for this one, I'm going to go with a blue. Uh, basically, you're going to need three, maybe four colors, if that, depending on how you want to color it. And it's just acrylic paints. You can get these at Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's, even the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has even acrylic paints you can pick up. And I'm going to just use a little dab. So I said here I'm going to use a blue. Maybe shake that up just a little bit more, get it more, a little bit more consistency to it. And I'm starting out with a blue there, but I'm also going to add some white to it. And again, I just happen to have a big container here because my wife uses a lot of white. Uh, it took me a while to find her containers. She likes to keep stuff in the back of her Closets for some reason. I think it's so the dogs don't get to it, but when I find it, I make sure I put it back as quickly as possible. Uh, so I'm going to get some white out here. And we're going to add that in here too. If you wanted to get more of a cream color, you could do that to add to it too. Uh, like I said, I like the way this just adds to it. And this is using the darker colors and the lighter colors, mixing, mixing them together 
to get my variation in there. So with my hat here, I'm gonna add some water. I'm gonna water it down. And that's the main trick is just keep, keep watering it down. And I'm gonna start probably about the middle, somewhere in there, and just dabbing it on. Dabbing a little bit of white in there. And I don't care if it runs a little bit. I don't want it to be real thick. I just want little dabs of it on there. Uh, you can use, I've seen people, instead of using brushes, use more of a sponge to just dab if you want. But I want to get some of that white color in there. And I'm going to go around to all five sides, get in the creases there a little bit. And just get some sort of white in there. Like I said, I'm going up over halfway there, probably three quarters way, just a little bit. I want some of that original beige, original white, whatever color I'm using to show through. So if I'm using the blue, I want some of the original blue felt to show through going into the darker there. Now, again, I'm going to keep adding more water, but I'm going to mix in my blue. And it doesn't matter how you, you know, what color you, you want. I mean, if you want this to be more of a red or a purple, you can do that too. I'm just experimenting. And that's what I encourage people to do is just to play. Uh, find out a little bit what you like and what you don't like. Some of the stuff I've tried just doesn't come out that that great. Uh, so I, you know, I try to rework it a little bit. And I'm going to start with my darker down towards the very bottom there. And you can see how this got different into it. Probably going to have to add some more blue on there. But I'm going to let them mix a little bit. And this is just painting with acrylics. It's just getting in there and playing a little bit. And giving you some variation in the color. So what you want is to have your darker color on the very bottom, lighter color on top, of course, and see if I do that. If I put a little bit of darkness into there, I might just add just a little bit more white to it here. Need some more blue. And I don't mind this thing getting more and more wet because that's what helps blend it so I don't have just a solid color in one spot. I want it to sort of run. And we'll mix it. I'm going to mix more white in there a little bit. Water it down a bit. And so that's how I'm going to make my different variations in it. As it dries, I'm going to leave it sitting in an upright position. As I said, it's not Mod Podge, it's not glue or anything, so it's not going to stick to my cone. So I don't have to worry about keep coming back and checking on it and moving it around. But because of the gravity, it'll pull the colors down. Now, 
here's a trick that I learned and it took me probably five or six times and maybe it's because I am a guy that it took me so long to figure it out. Start at the bottom. Don't start at the top. Uh, well, the first couple of ones that I did, probably the first five or six that I did, I started at the top and maybe because green is my favorite color. I always started with the green up top here and when I went to move everything around, by the time I was done, my hands were all all green painted. So start at the bottom, get that done, taken care of first. Then you can add some green. Now, you don't have to. You, you, it's not mandatory to add some green, but what I like to do is have a little bit of that green run down. And this is where I've added more water, more green. So you might be able to see some green tint into that just to get some color into there. The purple and white one, I didn't do that. I didn't want all this green in here. I wanted to keep this, the white, the purple, and see how that would look. Going back to the house, you could see how the green has run into and given me a mixture. So I can either not put any green in here or do just a little bit, lighten it. I'm gonna add just a moderate little bit amount because again, gravity is gonna be the thing that takes it and runs it down. Also, once I get it painted around, and I don't have to paint the top if I don't want. I started some with a lighter green and tried that. Uh, didn't seem to have much of a difference to it at all, but it's all a matter of how you want to make yours. You put your character in there how you want to do it. So you can get the edges, however you want to add. And since it's wet, it will start running a little bit, but if I want to add a little bit more character to it, I take some of that water and I'll either get a little spray bottle or I'll just take some water and drip it on top. And again, gravity will pull that down. So it takes about a day to dry. Uh, the ones I did, I actually did these uh, about nine, 10 o'clock last night and they're pretty well dry. And right now it's about 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. So it takes about 12 hours for it to dry, depending on where you have it at. Sometimes you might want to leave it sitting out. And it also depends on how, how much you saturate it too. Uh, you're just adding the water. As you can see, there's going to be some spots here, but that'll blend. And that's pretty cool too, because I'm getting more of this white in here, some dark in here, but it'll keep blending and running. So I just wanted to show you that little trick there give you an idea here. I'm going to finish this up on my own here, uh, but just wanted to give you an idea on how I'm making some more just beautiful flower uh, hats for my gnomes here and giving it some more, just some character to it. And it takes pretty much little time and you just have to be willing to sit, have it sit for 12 to, you know, 24 hours uh, for it to dry out. Well, thank you. I appreciate the time. I'm glad you guys are having fun making the gnomes. I love to see the community grow and I love to see the, the different things that you make. So go ahead, post on there, uh, ask questions. I love to have questions and show off a little bit what I can, make, can help you with. So thank you. Have a great day.